Now in example three, let's look at the same circuit as we did in example two, but switch the polarity of our voltage source. To begin, we will construct our Norton equivalent circuit, such that we'd have I sub P in a parallel configuration with R sub P connected to our two kilo ohm resistor terminals A and B. Now note, I sub P is pointing downwards to match the polarity of our 12 volt source. To begin, we'll calculate I sub P as being our open circuit voltage per our Thevenin resistance is equal to minus two milliamps. The minus 12 volts comes about that when we defined our Thevenin equivalent, we had our voltage source oriented with our positive terminal upward going into our six kilo ohm resistor that then connects to our circuit of interest at terminal A. We have this switched such that we have our negative terminal oriented upwards connected to our six kilo ohm resistor, which is then connected to our circuit at terminal A. Now R sub P is equal to R sub S, which is our Thevenin resistance, which is six kilo ohms. And our current running through our two kilo ohm resistor is found via current division, six per eight times our source current minus two, giving us minus 1.5 milliamps. And if we multiply this by our two kilo ohm resistance, we'd have our voltage potential is equal to minus three volts. Now to verify this, we do voltage division within our system. Our voltage is equal to our resistance, two kilo ohms per the sum of our series resistances, eight kilo ohms times our source voltage, minus 12 volts. Therefore, our voltage potential across our two kilo ohm resistor is minus three volts, which matches that determined by our Norton equivalent. Now it's noted that we have to be very certain of our polarity within our system, such that when we originally had our 70 equivalent defined, we had the positive terminal of our voltage source connected to our Thevenin resistor, which was then connected to our circuit. Any change of polarity results in a change of direction of our current source within our Norton equivalent as well.